so easy. Gine. What up, G Nation? Welcome to the G Nation channel. Adam, you wanna say what's up today? Yo, 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 yo. Cut, okay. So, uh, wanna thank you guys for watching the last video where we took you behind the scenes, product images, why I started Gerardo Collection. Winter Collection is now live. Amazing response, all I keep getting is DMs, emails about how amazing the quality is. But I told you guys, on this side, we're extremely picky. So on that side, you can get something you fall in love with. So thank you for the support. Today's video, super simple, super amazing. And once again, G Nation to the rescue to help you out, to help you put some more tools in your tool bag, close it up, take it with you. Take it with you. Dang. What are we doing today? Little, little something. I'm gonna take you through basically the best bicep workouts because me and Adam are doing arms today. So he's probably struggling holding the, the gimbal bit. just a little bit. <laughs> I don't mean to put him in the spot, but if you see the camera starting to drop or shake, he's tired. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through today a little bit of my favorite bicep workouts for a pump. These are the ones I'm doing to get these gains lately. Um, give me the best pump, the best growth, keeping the volume kind of low, but we get that intensity regardless. Then we're going to go home and I'm going to show you the things that I do to fight my cravings. It's a new year, so you got to be strong, fight your cravings this year. Um, luckily for the people on my program, ggfittraining.com, they know what to do. If you're not on it, you don't. So you might want to watch this part. And maybe later you'll join the program. But walk along with me. Let's kill this workout. And uh, hey, I'll do this for you. Let's go. bicep workout kind of keeping the tension up there working on the peak and just getting as much blood as we can in there 
Either grip is fine, but I did find that the close grip works better. Um, so me and Adam just finishing up biceps. Now we're gonna hit triceps, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, some good ways that I fight that I fight my cravings. Usually, what I find is you throw a left jab, left jab, <laughs> uppercut, <laughs> and the, the, the cravings get knocked out. Uh, but let me teach you how to fight your cravings. Got that fabulous arm day pump. Uh, today what I did was I took some honey. I bought some pure like organic honey where it still has the honeycomb in it and everything. And I took that before training today along with some pump product. Um, and I got a crazy pump. Also yesterday was rest day for both me and Adam. So we had like extra carbs today um, in our bodies and rest. So we were able to get we were able to get a, a good amount of uh, carbs in our system yesterday. Usually rest days, I do a refeed. refeed. Um, so G Nation, I hope you enjoyed that bicep section. Those are the ones that I do. Again, download the PDF on the link below for the exact reps and sets that you can do in rest times. Uh, so I wanted to go over with you guys really quick what we can do um, or what I do that might help you uh, fight your cravings, right? Because cravings is something that a lot of you guys might struggle with, especially starting the new year and trying to diet. So I was like, let me think of some ideas that I do, right? Um, first, first and foremost, your cravings most likely are either coming from stress, from not enough sleeping, or not eating enough throughout the day. So evaluate those areas and then see where you might be slacking. One of the reasons I used to get a lot of cravings is my sleep pattern was messed up and I wasn't enough getting enough rest. So that throws you off and also you're awake for more time, which is gonna lead you to be more hungry. And if you're not feeding yourself, you're gonna crave. Um, so definitely evaluate those areas and then see where you can improve. Now, things that I did when I was craving, uh, I usually buy almonds, nuts and stuff, but what I do is I'll buy it in separate packs. So usually 100 calorie packs. Um, when I was getting a craving for something crazy, I would grab one of those packs, probably drink about 24 ounces of water immediately, then eat the almonds. That would kill my uh, cravings. Another thing I want to emphasize is I used to buy the packs, and that is because if you open a bag of almonds, guarantee you you're just gonna keep stuffing them, stuffing them, and the calories on almonds and nuts is high, so you'll end up consuming a ton of calories but, you know, instead of just stopping the craving. Another thing is make sure you hydrate. You're drinking plenty of water. If you're not drinking enough water, your cravings are going to be through the roof. You're going to be hungry. Um, if you're having cravings at the moment, just drink, 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 drink. Evaluate when was the last time you ate. So if you ate three, four hours ago, maybe it's time to eat again. Drink water, hold you off to the meal, eat. Try to space out your meals. I would say two to three hours. A uh, little feedback here. How, how long, how often do you space your meals out, Adam? Probably about two to three hours. Two to three hours as well. Um, and I'm not saying you got to have a full course meal every two to three hours, but feed yourself, you know, even if it's an apple with a banana, some almonds, yogurt, and water, hey, feeding yourself, getting some quality nutrients in there, and um, you're able to prevent yourself from going and opening something you're not supposed to. So another thing is stay away from things that you crave. If you work at a workplace where they're bringing constantly donuts, I'm sorry for you. Uh, but if you're going to a donut shop and you can't have donuts, you can help that. You know what I'm saying? So try to stay away from things that you crave. No need to buy the food and you're going to stare at it in your closet knowing you can't have it. Don't buy the foods that you can't have. Um, and I think, uh, what was the other one? Um, so space your meals out. Get enough rest. Don't buy the foods and don't be around the foods that you can't have. Then drink water, you know, the almonds. Also rice cakes are great um, to, to stop cravings. Get some rice cakes, some natural peanut butter or honey, throw it on there, one or two. But again, the thing is, if you're really craving something, it's because you're not really eating enough throughout the day. What are you gonna end up doing? You're gonna eat like 15 rice cakes with honey and peanut butter and then mess up your diet. So. Have control, try to buy things that come pre-packaged as far as like quantities and, and serving size so that way you can control it, not just keep going, going, and going. Um, 
So that's pretty much it. Evaluate those areas, make sure you're getting enough rest, make sure you're eating enough meals throughout the day, and evaluate your stress levels, and then make a plan according to those things. For immediate craving, control, like I said, drink some water, maybe some nuts, almonds, whatever, prepackaged. That's my key, that's what I do. Uh, and then I'll start prepping a meal right there and then, so that way I can eat and stay on track. Um, again, find all this information on the, on the PDF below. Little pretty PDF. Boop, 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 boop. You can see all this information plus the workout and um, customized coaching with me. I also added Skype, so you can Skype me directly. We can go over your plan. Also text messaging, text me directly, and I can coach you one-on-one -on -one and see your results finally. This year is flying by, so make sure that you act now because before you know it, the year is gonna pass by and you're gonna be like, damn. If I would've just started with G for that small amount it costs, 125 for 12 weeks, I probably would've been on better track by now. Also, Gerardo Collection released. Thank you for those that watched the video. Thank you for all those that have watched all our videos. Thank you for those that uh, support G Nation. We got a lot planned this year. Uh, we're trying to make it to the Olympia or something like that, right? Just something like something that. Like that. Something like that, so we'll keep you posted. The wonderful thing about all this is that this is G Nation. We out.